So uh, this first step for um, making a at-home latte, um, just to make sure you have all of your ingredients. And so I have um, this Cafe Stilio Espresso ground coffee. Um, so you can get ground coffee, you know, anywhere <laughs> pretty much. Um, but if you want like fresh beans, you can get it at Trader Joe's. They have coffee grinders. Um, but they, I also have a um, just a coffee grinder right here as well. So that's not that difficult if I wanted some fresh beans as well. Um, we actually just got this as a wedding gift along with a lot of other things. <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, showing it to you guys now. Um, so this is... I'll show you, it's in three different parts right now, but it actually just all goes into one. So this is the um, stovetop coffee espresso. So this is the, the first part, and then this is the, the like filter where you put the espresso, and then this is um, the bottom where the water goes. See this, the water, and so in this, you, It'll be all screwed up at the end, but at the beginning when it's not all put together, um, you see inside there is a little, um, it's kind of like a safety, I think they call it, it's just like a water valve. And the top is thing. where you will actually see um, the coffee coming out. And so we're just going to go through and see all of that um, now. So I'm just going to fill this up first with some cold water. So there's water in there. Don't want to show you completely because then it will go all over the place. And get the espresso beans. And I like to have a little scoop for coffee just out by all of my rest of my coffee stuff. Um, actually, most of my coffee stuff is underneath the counter, but this scoop and um, the coffee pot and pour over is on top of the counter. So then, wow, I forgot that I need to show you this before I put it in there. Um, so then you see the filter, and you just pour the espresso in here. And you gotta make sure to um, then get all the espresso in there and tamp it down. Uh, it's really important with coffee to, um, especially with espresso, because it's actually how it works on any, you know, place where you get coffee, is your grounds are tamped down, and if you're not a barista, and you don't know what a tamp is, um, you can take the end of a spoon, or something that's, you know, small like this, and can smush coffee down. It helps um, for there not to be any leaks within um, coffee. Um, I do, just because we did this yesterday, I do like to leave a little bit, like a tiny bit, like not even Um, the little nudge. Uh, and the purpose for that is because like if, when, if, when, because if, when, I can't speak. <laughs> um, when you put it all together, it kind of just makes it easier to screw. So then I just dropped the grounds into um, where the water is. And then you put the top on, make sure it's all lined up, and you just righty tidy. Make sure that's super tight. 
uh, yesterday we actually had kind of a problem with this um, for we were didn't I didn't screw it on all the way um, so I was like why is this taking so long well some of the steam was leaking out um, from the sides because it wasn't screwed on all the way so I will now um, take this over to um, the stove I have that on the stove, haven't started it yet because I wanted to show you two more things um, before I started the espresso. So I just get out a coffee cup, uh, so this is what I would do for warm lattes is to get out a normal coffee cup and if it was an ice latte I'll show you just a normal mason cup, get them at Target or you know anywhere. and. Uh, so we did ice lattes from that yesterday, and um, we actually used just the sugar-free uh, vanilla creamer that we have, because uh, David likes vanilla, I like vanilla, um, but today I'm going to try the hazelnut uh, creamer, and the reason why we're doing this um, is just because I like didn't want to go buy a syrup if I didn't know how good it was going to be, So, but it, this honestly tastes the same pretty much if you were to put creamer or syrup it's just the flavor so just putting a little less because creamer is more of a that's a bigger base than just a syrup so putting less in if you're using a creamer than if you were using a syrup and with a syrup with the size of this kind of cup I would probably only do like two pumps um, reason being, I am not super big on like, let's just do all of the syrups. Starbucks, why? I like Starbucks, but not that much syrup. You can you know, just take it back because you want to actually taste the coffee, right? I mean, some people don't want to, but I want to taste the coffee. So then um, also have our mug like I said. And so now I can show you um, the espresso on this side. Now we on the stove side. This is crooked, so that's gonna bother me. Um, and so we got this little, little dude, or dudette, you know, I don't really know what stove tops, maybe, I'm pretty sure it's just a thing. Yeah, so right here, do not wanna put it on anything more than medium. If it's higher than that, it'll get boiled. And you don't want it to boil, you want it to actually just percolate. So um, when that happens, you will you can tell by listening to it or opening up and you'll see like the liquid pouring into that. So now we just gotta wait. I didn't tell you how much time. Um, last night it took a little bit more than four minutes, but it usually, I think it's supposed to be three to four minutes. So I'm just gonna look, check back at actually like 8.20 because I'm gonna give it five minutes because last night it just took a little longer. Funny, with this latte I forgot that I'm making the warm milk and I could have been doing this the whole time. Stuff that happens when I film, I forget that I need to know use milk because that's, that's something that I need to do. So. Let's heat up the milk yes. now, right? I'm just gonna use this um, little pan and I'm gonna just pour this in here and you could use the microwave, but I would rather use this pot. Miss it, but here we go, look. I don't know if you can actually see the steam, but... Oh, look. See, that's what it will look like when it's percolating. Awesome, I'm just gonna give it a couple more minutes. All right, and I just put in the milk. So let's see that. I'm just gonna cook that, I guess, for a few minutes. Yeah. All right, here's my at-home finished latte. You try it. Mmm, yes! There you go. <laughs> so good. waiting a little behind the scenes. This is my favorite part of my kitchen is this little flag. 
Actually, I like the spice rack. I like all of the kitchen things. This thing's supposed to be up here, but hasn't happened yet. And sorry, dirty dishes. You're not gonna get featured in that. Take two on the, showing you this little box. Um, so this box we used in our wedding and it's actually from the swap meet in uh, it's Golden West in Huntington Beach and so we got this little thing and I, I believed it was used in like the kitchen area in our wedding um, maybe I'll post a little picture to that uh, once we have our pictures but I basically got all this little flower stuff from uh, the Dollar Tree and I just thought that was cute to decorate for fall so that's a part of some um, fall decor right there, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna change the flowers out in this, in the little garland area um, during the seasons. 